Hi guys. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. I shouldn't get in trouble. I'm paranoid. Um, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Nobody's really awake right now or everybody just went to sleep. And they got school and work in the morning. But I don't got nothing better to do. So, we're here in my bathroom dyeing my hair. Or about to start the process of this mess. I know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional. <laughs> obviously by my other videos you guys should know that i think they're still up i don't know i can't remember i haven't made a video in two years <laughs> i've got two different powders i was gonna get like two generic but they only had one so then i bought this one the lady said not to mix them so i'm not gonna mix it but i might have to do like two separate batches but it's bleach so it's like what could go wrong 30 volume developer i just got a little bottle because that's just for the bleach oh and then i got this because i was watching tutorials <laughs> to you know refresh my memory because i haven't done this in a while um and i got this booster from ion is it gonna focus? I don't know if that focused. It probably didn't. But it's basically like this like little tiny box. It's really cute. It's like this big. Um, and you're supposed to like put it in the bleach mixture. And it's supposed to help restore moisture, reduce breakage, and prevent dryness during chemical services. I got pink hair dye. Arctic Fox Virgin Pink. I was really having a hard time deciding which pink to buy. Last time my hair was pink, I used Arctic Fox. A very crusty hair bowl. This hair bowl has been with me since I very first dyed my hair in like sixth grade. I am now 20 years old, so she's been through a lot and I'll never get rid of her. My whisk. I love my hair dyeing whisk. This when I purchased this at Sally's, it changed my life. So if you dye your hair a lot at home, invest. It will change your life, I swear. And painting brush. You know what I forgot? Gloves. Let me go get some gloves. Because I'm not about to bleach my skin. That's what we're not going to do. I feel like turning off that big yellow light really helped the lighting. And plus my ring light is like so bright that I can still see what I'm doing. Turn the volume brightness all the way up. Anyways, um, I separated my hair. Um, please don't come for my parting. I already disclosed this, but I'm not a professional, okay? This isn't a tutorial. This is for your viewing pleasure, okay? Okay. If this bothers you, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But everything that's in a bun is not being dyed or bleached or anything. It's just going to be left as is. Let's get started, shall we? Let's get it. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go in with this. Now that I'm thinking about it, since I'm doing two different batches of bleach, probably should have bought two of these. Oh wow. Perfect consistency. No lumps. I'm nervous. I'm excited. All the emotions. Okay, time lapse. I just finished applying the layer of bleach to like the ends non root area. You can tell it's already developing because like I said, my hair was already processed. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bag it for like 15, 20 minutes. Watch it, make sure these front pieces catch up to the back. I did it pretty fast, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm usually really slow with bleach, which is why my hair fries. But I'm doing everything right this time, which is super shocking. Um, we're like two minutes away from the 10 minute mark. But since this is already processed hair and I don't want it to fall off, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my roots because the bottom has had um, bleach on it the longest and I don't want anything to happen like I said. And plus, when you put, like, a bag over your head, it, like, heats it up or whatever. So it speeds up the process even more. But so far, I am very happy 
with the lightning that we got going on here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and hit these roots up. <laughs> Stuff that needs some quirky. And then I'll do another 10 minutes. Um, I just, excuse me, finished my roots. Uh, I did it like 15 minutes on all my roots. I'm pretty sure I missed a couple spots in the back, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I just checked the bottom, like, where I initially started, and it's already starting to lift, obviously, because it's a virgin hair, um, and, you know, the heat in your head or whatever. So, you let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Wash it out. And I'll be back at y'all, okay? So, we're just gonna take a little breather. It quite literally smells like bleach in here. Like chemicals, or maybe that's my head. I don't know. Um, it's been like 15 minutes, a little less than 15 minutes. I don't want to wait the whole 15 minutes. Okay. It was getting hot in there. Just had to take take that off. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Um, hopefully. Uh well, I see some dark spots still like in there. And Insert screaming sound now. And that's okay. It's fine. I don't really care. I'm not that mad. Like, honestly, I'm very happy with my results so far. I'm going to go ahead and wash this out because I don't want my hair to fall out. We're looking pretty helpful. Sorry, that was a really bad angle. We're looking pretty helpful here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash this out, like I said, with lukewarm water. Okay. Who child. <laughs> it doesn't look terrible, honestly. Like, okay, this is like a dark gold brassy color. And then this is all like a pretty yellowy blonde color. And then, same thing for that. But honestly, Speaking from my code of zone, my heart, my honest, raw opinion on my hair. I thought I did a pretty good job. And it doesn't feel like stringy or anything. Um, I had no burning, itching sensation at all. Uh, so I don't know if that was my perfect timing. Or the little island drops I added into the bleach mixture. I'm really happy I don't have like white roots really proud of that um i'm not gonna blow dry my hair you're bonkers if you think i'm gonna do that at 1 30 in the morning i already have my little nightgown on we're going to sleep I'm gonna go to sleep with the heritage heritage mask transforming hair mask it's seven bucks at walmart 10 out 10 recommend every time i use this my hair is super soft you can use this as an in shower mask or a leave-in yeah, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. So see you guys tomorrow when we apply the pink hair dye. All right, good morning guys, or good afternoon. It's actually afternoon. Anyways, it's the next day. Um, I let my hair air dry overnight. Uh, 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 uh. It, it is time to dye my hair pink. But this is what we're looking like, um, very yellowy tones for the most part. And then I have some brassiness going on down here, but that's okay. I'm totally okay with that because like I said, we're just covering it with a fashion color anyways. So it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm watching Shrek, but um, I just sectioned off my hair and sectioned it further into like little pieces that we can work with, um, distributing the pink hair dye sorry that's really loud hold on freaking far quad um so yeah um there's some brown pieces in the blonde um it's okay because it's not like this is like gonna lift my hair or anything it's just pink hair dye um so at most the damage will be done is like a pink tint to my dark brown hair but i highly doubt my dark brown hair is gonna take to pink tint ew my reflection in the mirror is disgusting 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go into another time lapse and pray this looks cute. Okay, hi you guys. So it's um like three days after I applied the pink to my blonde bleached not blonde my bleached hair um and this is the outcome i'm really happy with how it looks no i don't think you understand i'm obsessed um so yeah it's like a smaller chunk of pink up front and then you know you can like see the peekaboo under like as well and then when i turn around you can't really see it so the color took very well if i do say so myself but you know it looks pretty darn good okay i'm out of breath <laughs> when am i not out of breath I'd say my hair suffered minimal damage just because it was already lightened and stuff and processed and I did things correct this time, which is shocking. <laughs> and I honestly love my hair pink. It's my favorite color to go. Um, it just makes me feel like a pixie or like a fairy or whatever, you know, and like who doesn't love pink hair? Okay, who? Who? Tell me. But yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Um, I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at myself. Um, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and follow me on all my socials. And I'll see you guys in my next video.